as per my last email, comma, what's your budget? Circling back on our last conversation, passive aggressive, dot, dot, dot. What's your rate? I hope this email finds you well during these most challenging times, but what's your budget, colon, end bracket? What's your rate? Fine. It's a thousand dollars per day. Hello, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another amazing video. Today, we're going to be talking about how to negotiate better for video production budget. And if you might have noticed, we're in a new space. More on that later. But now, let's focus on what we're here for today. Firstly, yeah, it's very sad, but it's the bitter truth. Your branding already gives the client an anchor price in their mind, especially if it's a client that I've worked with several other video production companies or several other freelancers in the past. By me looking at your project or by me looking at your reel or your portfolio, they already have a price in mind. It's very, very sad that you might have the best work, but if you don't package yourself and brand yourself in the right way out there, you might never get the best prices or the best budgets. It just depends on the client perception of what value you can offer them. So if you have those two projects, please put them out more and brand yourself correctly. The second thing I would like to say is when the clients reach out to you is the first thing you should do is should make good research about the clients. Try to understand the client, try to understand what kind of videos they like, try to understand who they've worked with in the past, try to study the kind of videos they put out in the past and understand the, the point of view that the client is coming from. It's funny, but actually, whatever you're trying to quote for that client, the client will be willing to pay way more than that or may be expecting way more than that. And the only way to know that is by making good research on the clients. Different clients, different preferences, but if you don't do your due diligence to understand what those client preferences might be, you may either be undercoating them or you might either be overcoating them. One major mistake that people always make is they go into a project without collecting a detailed brief from the client. Always ask the client for a detailed brief of what they want in terms of deliverables, in terms of their target audience, in terms of who they're trying to publicize this video to how what is their communication how do they want to communicate with their audience what's the aim of the video what's the objective of the video all these are very very detailed information in the brief and you need this from the clients before you can go ahead to quote anything most times you're working with experienced clients or you're working with an agency they usually have a brief so you have no stress to go but if you're working with probably a small business or a client that have not really done so much video production you might have to coach them through this process or what i usually do sometimes is i send them a google form to fill and this google form will have all these line items and if you help the clients in determining this their objective and their deliverables they will also see more value in you by taking them through this process once you've collected your brief never ever ever no matter how simple you think the project is give a price on the spot or over the phone you can refer to my video production budget video i'm going to link it here and put the link in the description or you can just buy my video production templates here and that will help you budget way more for your client so break down the brief very well understand exactly what they want charge for everything that is required if they require four videos, charge for four videos. If they require three Instagram stories, charge for three Instagram stories, please. Like all this, you, you understand them later on while the project has started out. Oh, thank God I actually charged this client for this. I can afford to do this. And ultimately, it helps you get the best production at the end of the day. Just refer to my video production templates take the brief and fill it into this production budget and I think you're good to go. In terms of line item pricing, that would be up to you to determine. I can't determine that for you because you know what you want to be charging and what you want to be earning depending on your level of work. So charge smartly and charge rightly. Don't overcharge, don't undercharge. Everyone has their own price. You should only increase your price when you can meet up to the demand. So if you have 
more demand, you increase your price so you can supply more. So it's economics, law of demand and supply. But if you're not getting any jobs, bro, I don't see any reason why you should be increasing your price unnecessarily. Take the jobs, build portfolio, build customer relationship, build um, network a bit. And when you get so much demand because you're delivering excellent work, you take your price up a notch like that, like that, like that until you're in a good spot where you can be. So in terms of pricing each of the line items on this video production budget, you should determine that by yourself. One thing I always advise and I always do also is try to mark up the budget a bit, like maybe 20, 30 percent ish. There are nothing too ridiculous, please. Just know exactly what you want to be charging and mark it up a bit just to give room for negotiation, especially if you're in a country like Nigeria where people always negotiate. Just you need to be prepared for that because no client will be so happy if you don't give them room for a little bit of negotiation. So it's going to be a win-win situation. The, f the client feels better that you give them a discount and you also get the price that you actually wanted to do the job for. One important step is to negotiate based on line items and not on the whole project. Let me explain. So let, for example, if you're using my video production budget templates and let's assume you charged for three days of shoots and you charge for five videos and maybe in those five videos you have three youtube videos two instagram reels when the client is in the point of negotiating and trying to break down the price you can offer to tell them oh why not we do just three youtube videos and one reel as opposed to having this entire five videos that will bring the budget down or why don't we try to shoot in two days as opposed to three days don't just take your prices down for no reason if you're taking your prices down try to remove something of value so the client actually understands that oh okay i'm getting less to accommodate my budget there are all that tricky ways to do these things another very interesting way to negotiate with your clients is by upselling trying to upsell to the clients let's say for example they're trying to commission you a project to shoot next say some testimonial videos for their brand you can ask them okay how often do you do this in a year can you commission me three of these projects at once so i can give you a very good discount on this or can we discuss like a retainership that okay i'm going to be doing this two times a month and i can give you a good discount that way that is very good for you in the sense that you have consistency of jobs you know that okay for the next three months for the next six months i'm booked or and also good for them because they get a very good discount on their own end so it's a win-win situation when you're giving discounts try to make sure your discount reflects on the invoice so let's say for example you've calculated your total invoice and then they want a discount and then you've spoken on the phone or spoken via email and then you agree to drop the quotes a little bit or drop the budget down a little bit in your final invoice that you're sending to the client still put the original price you quoted and then put a discount at the tail end of your invoice okay minus 20 percent 20 percent discount giving and then the price you agree that way when the client receives the invoice you're still anchoring the client's mind to understand that this is the actual value of this but this is the discount i'm giving to you and the final thing is be ready and be willing to walk away when prices are not favorable that's the ultimate route to negotiation if you didn't accept to any negotiation you guys conclude to or any price you conclude to you must be willing to deliver there are no excuses after accepting there are no excuses for under delivering there are no excuses for saying oh because we don't have enough budget or because we don't have so 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 amount there are no excuses you accepted and you should deliver the client expectation so that's why you should be willing to walk away when the prices are not favorable here comes the end of today's video please subscribe to the channel if you gained anything very very valuable from this i really appreciate it. you can share this to other people that you think this might be of usefulness to and yeah i'll catch you on the next video please download the video production budget link is in the bio and see ya peace out